What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Ted, again, with another video. And today, we're going to be talking about taking trips at Job Corps. But before we get into this video, y'all, like, subscribe to my channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up? What's going on, y'all? Okay, so, y'all see me with my new post, my little 70s style. All right. Um, y'all can follow me on my hair page, and I will put that in the description box below, okay? But anyway, let's get into it. So, taking trips at job court um i'm gonna start with earl c first okay uh when i went to earl c and i think i had mentioned a little bit of this in like my past videos or whatever i can't remember which video i can't remember but anyway taking trips at job court so um earl c runs off a first come first serve basis so you have 800 students, right? Just, we gonna, you know, give a random number. 800 students can't go on no field trip, okay? So they only let probably like 40 people go from each um, section of dorm. So at RLC, you have 400s, 500s, 900s, 300s, okay? You have four sets of dormitories, and each one of them are in different areas on that campus. So they may take three people from 400, three people from 500, three people from 900, so forth and so on, okay? Um, it's going to be more boys than girls going on a trip for the simple fact you have more guys at Job Corp than girls, and that's mostly at any Job Corp you go to, okay? Um... Anywho, um, certain field trips that we used to go on, y'all, they used to give us money. So, like, I remember one, <laughs> I, I'll just give y'all a rundown, right? I remember one time, me and my roommate, we went on a field trip together. Um, I think we went to, like, a, a hockey game, basketball game. We was doing the winter time or whatever, right? They gave us $40 to go out to eat whatever we want to do, Right? So that's money that's not coming out of your pocket, right? That's money coming out of Job Corp. They give you that. They gave everybody. So think about 40 students going on a field trip, and it's like, and they gave $40 or $30 or $20, however much money they give you. They give you that so you can go eat out, go hang out, and stuff like that. So that's another thing that they don't tell y'all. Yes, Job Corp do give y'all money when y'all go on field trips. If you ain't got no money, Sometimes Job Corp will provide money for you to eat. Sometimes Job Corp provide. It ain't like, you know, how we used to do in elementary school, how they'll bring us sack lunches and all that. No, Job Corp give you money to buy your own food, right? So, anywho, me and my friend, me and my roommate, we uh, went to this game or whatever, and we didn't want that high behind gang food. We didn't want no nachos for no $8. We didn't want no corn dog for no $5. So, we really wanted to eat, eat. So, <laughs> so we went to this bar, y'all. It was packed this night. I'm talking about it was so packed in there. And me and my homegirl, me and my, I keep saying hunger. me and my roommate, we went inside and like I said, it was packed and all that. So we trying to see what's on the menu. We trying to see like, you feel me? What y'all got good to eat? You know, woo, woo, woo. So this little uh, white man came up. I'm talking about real rude, real disrespectful, you feel me? And so he was up here like, hey, what y'all want to eat? And we ain't got this. And we ain't got, I'm talking about real disrespectful. You know, we, we, we could just feel the vibe. We could just feel, okay, now I remind you, I'm black, clearly. My roommate was Mexican, okay? So we believe that he had some little prejudice stuff going on, okay? So when he said that... <laughs> Me and my roommate, we looked at him like, and the look that we gave him, she had glasses on, y'all. So when she had, let me show y'all how she did. Hold on. Okay, y'all, so I'm finna demonstrate how she did. These are some little work glasses I found in my drop. But this is, she had glasses on, y'all. And it was so freaking funny. She did like this when he said, and what the do y'all want? She said, <laughs> y'all it was so funny because we both gave him the same look like 
when she did that, we looked at each other, we looked at him, like, bitch, let's jump his ass. <laughs> like, y'all, we wanted to beat him up. But yeah, we had so much fun. It was during the winter time, it was cold and all that. But yeah, like, Job Corps do give you money to go on field trips and things like that. Um, you don't know if you're, you can always sign up to take trips, but you won't always be picked. Now, when I was at Turner, right, Turner was a little bit different. Turner did take field trips, but I think over time, Turner Job Corp in Georgia stopped doing field trips because it was always chaos. It was always drama. It was always mess. I went to a field trip one time at Turner Job Corp Center and we went to the skating rink. And when we got there, it was a rainstorm and all the, I'm talking about soon as we walked in to skate, the power went out. So we turned around and we had to go back home. We were so shitty. Okay. It like, bruh, like, um, but with Turner, you could take like weekend passes. You can go off campus on the weekends and things like that. At Earl C, you couldn't. You can take weekend passes, but you can take personal leaves. You can take weekend passes. Earl C used to let you take weekend passes, but again, chaos, drama. They mess up the hotels and things like that. So they don't let them come anymore. Okay. So yeah, I just want y'all to know that. Our job corp centers are not bad. Some of them are fun. Um, some of them suck. I just recently had somebody comment up on one of my videos today or yesterday saying that job corp doing virtual classes for like 60 days. And I'm like, yo, I mean, I could see that happening for the simple fact the COVID and all that has been going on. I don't really know how they doing that. And I don't really see how that's working per se. But yeah, um, yeah, so y'all look into that, man. Job, certain job course centers, they do have fun stuff for y'all. Not all of them do. Some of them suck, okay? Some of them straight suck, won't let you go off campus, won't take trips, won't do any type of, you know what I'm saying, any type of um, activities. I remember we used to battle rap. We used to rap, dance, security came up, and just like, oh, y'all got to leave. Like, yo, what we doing? We ain't doing nothing. We just having fun, sir. We just enjoying ourselves. We just being creative. We just expressing ourselves. All we doing is rapping. It's a problem. Well, in their minds, oh, it looks like y'all going to start a fight. This is this is stereotyping. Okay? It's wrong, y'all. Dead ass is wrong. Security guards, they full of shit at job court. I'm going to tell you that now. Do not trust security guards at job court. Do not trust security guards at Job Corp because a lot of them be undercover and a lot of them be, uh, a lot of them be undercover working for, you know, because security at Job Corp is like the police. They have whatever they name called it, maybe SHRO, CSO, whatever their name is called at that center, right? They be working up under certain folks. They be underhanding people. Do not trust security guards when you go to job corp. You got some of them that's cool, that's laid back. Then you got some of them that's real shysty that'll set you up and get you terminated, okay? So, yeah, thanks for watching my channel. I will put all my social media accounts in the description box below. And deuces.